Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Sagittarius. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is going to be a look at the harsh truths that you need to hear now. And we're going to get straight into it. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure that you subscribe and that you hit the notification bell. And if you would like a personal session with me, or if you would like to purchase any of these beautiful crystals that we now are going to be having on the website, which I'm super excited about, uh, check out the website listed below and subscribe to our newsletter or book through our site. Okay. Let's get into it. Sagittarius, the harsh truth that they need to hear now. And we're going to go over each and every one of these cards. Okay. So, um, let me back this up just a little. And let's start with the Knight of Cups. If it'll focus. There we go. Okay, so Knight of Cups being the first card. Um, so, the first harsh truth some of you guys who are dealing with somebody who's emotionally fickle, where when I say this, this is somebody who knows how to say all the right things, know how to do all the right things. They know how to basically play the part of Prince Charming, essentially. Um, this individual, them being fickle as far as like them not being able to keep their word in a sense or their actions don't align with their words unfortunately this person may continue to be this way um, where they are inconsistent in terms of their you know words and then their actual actions being off um, another thing if they give you this issue where it's like one second they seem interested then other days they don't seem as interested and they're not as you know responsive or they don't text you as often or whatever it may be this also may just be some personal stuff that they're going through and like I said this may be a process for them to get out of this energy in the first place okay also some of you guys a harsh truth is your personal emotions and how you tend to let that like how you tend to project them excuse me uh, may also kind of influence your dating life in a sense so if you are somebody who put yourself out there as far as dating is concerned and then other days you're like having this level of hesitance and you're inconsistent then that also may be aiding in your love life being inconsistent in a sense now we also have the five of swords so hmm another harsh truth some of you guys do self-sabotaging things this could be you getting into your own head and then deciding not to do certain things that you set your mind to. So this could be like, for instance, you getting a call back from a company that you want to work for. Um, and then you get the interview and then it's day of the interview. And then you decide to not go because you think you're not going to get the job because there's going to be people who are overqualified. And then you start making up excuses for why you shouldn't go because it's wasting gas or whatever it may be. So that could be self-sabotaging for others of you. You could literally do the same thing, but in love. Where, you know, you have dates scheduled. You're ready to go on said dates and then you second guess yourself and then you back out. OK, now, another thing that I'm seeing here, we do have the Ace of Pentacles. So another harsh truth, some of you guys, you need to actually date someone who is promising a stable relationship or a actual relationship and not a friends or benefits situation or empty promises of what it will be one day when they're emotionally healed and they're, you know, out of a toxic third party situation. OK, some of you guys are exhausting your abilities to get a stable relationship because you're stuck with somebody who doesn't want to commit, has commitment issues, dealing with other people and making other people a priority over you. Others of you, you it's time for you to get a new job that's going to pay you more. The job's stability may not be the problem. It's just the amount of pay. 
and or the amount of money that you need to survive and you're just not making enough where you're at. Or for some of you, it is literally the job stability. Now, we also have the two of cups here. So another harsh truth, some of you guys, you think somebody's a soulmate and they may not be a soulmate. For some of you, you think that somebody's a soulmate for the fact that you want to have comfort in holding on to them for dear life, but it, it may not be that. And for some of you, you do have a soulmate connection with someone, but the harsh truth may be that this person, just because you have a soulmate connection with them, doesn't mean that they're supposed to be in your life forever, though. Um, soulmate, twin flame, um, whatever. It doesn't matter what it is. That doesn't mean that somebody gets to be toxic to you and then you accept it because of a spiritual name you put on top of it. So that's another thing. We also have, oh, and also for some of you, you need to, um, some of you guys need a grip, need to get a grip on your personal relationships overall, not just in love with family members, things of that nature. Um, because that may be affecting your... How do I say this? Your mental health in a sense. Because some of you guys could be suffering from like depression occasionally because you don't feel like you have enough people in your corner. And it's because you may very well have people in your corner, but you may not keep in touch with them enough or you're not really like as connected to them as you used to be. We also have the eight of wands. Um, so another harsh truth is you guys need to stop letting somebody keep contacting you and reaching out to you and thinking that they can have access to your energy and then ghost you and then come back and then ghost you because you're teaching somebody how to treat you. They're going to keep doing it to you if they can reach out to you and you're not going to see a problem with them, you know, wait in a year to talk to you after you guys have had an argument and they know you're going to be excited to hear from them. So you're not going to bring up the fact that you have existing issues with them. We also have the three of wands. So there's a need for you to kind of have a better outlook in terms of the future and the opportunities that are going to be presenting itself in the future because your mindset may be influencing your actions in the now, which in turn influence your future. So if you have this anxiety and worry about the future where you're not focusing on the now, then the future is definitely going to be you still repeating this energy of worrying about what's to come. And then before you know it, you're dead. Okay. Another thing with the Ten of Wands in reverse, another harsh truth is there's a need for you to realize that a certain burdens, certain levels of stress or stressful situations don't require you to carry that stress and that burden. It's not your job to. So it's time for you to let go of the stress, of the burden certain people or situations it's not your job to carry that whether that's you being stressed out for another person because they're homeless or you being stressed out because somebody else you know can't find their way emotionally that's not your burden to carry and for some of you if you don't let certain burdens go it's gonna topple all over you And then the last card we have, which I love, is the Six of Wands. So the last harsh truth is you guys are stepping into the energy of success. But when it comes to this, this is going to require you to not keep giving attention to things. Oh, my light cut off. <laughs> Stop giving attention to things that. bring you far away from this vibration of success or focusing on your personal success or successfully overcoming any sort of like personal stuff that you may be going through and, and it dragging you back into 
the energy of depression. So with the success energy is you having to also separate yourself from depressive people, depressive situations, things of that nature. So I'm going to stop right here. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs this video up and subscribe. If you want a personal or if you want to purchase any of my beautiful crystals that I have on a standby waiting to go on the website, make sure you guys subscribe to the site, book your sessions, all that jazz, all that will be below and I will see you in the next one.